welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're gonna be doing like a um okay hi yeah <laughs> so we're gonna be doing a get ready with me um sort of my go-to products that i use my go-to makeup look or whatever so yeah, let's jump right into the video so i already primed my face and i did use the pore professional by benefit it works amazing especially if you have combination skin and you tend to get really oily in the t-zone area it works perfect um i'm yet to find the perfect drugstore one um i have a few that i've been trying out and i'll let you guys know which one's my favorite or which one's been working for my skin so yeah so now i'm gonna jump right in and get my brows done So for my brows, I did use the Anastasia Dip Brow. Oops, no, sorry. Yeah, the Dip Brow by Anastasia, and I'm actually gonna jump right into doing my concealer. I usually use the Allegra Pro Concealer to carve out my brows, and I usually just blend it out. So I'm just gonna like fast forward this pretty fast. You guys just get a glimpse. So for my eyes, I'll be going in with this palette by wet and wild and i love this palette just because honestly it's super affordable and it has amazing shades inside so you've got your purples you've got your browns you've got amazing transition shades i don't know where my words are and where i'm out of breath i have no idea but yeah um i did travel recently and i did go with only this palette and it works amazing the shadows are super pigmented and I would recommend this to anyone who wants like a small, neutral, just tool, affordable shadow. I, oh my god, I shadow palette. <laughs> this is amazing. I would recommend this to anyone. So first off, I am. I usually actually just do very neutral looks. So I am gonna go ahead and do that. First, I am gonna actually. I think I'm gonna do like sort of a purple neutral thing. I don't, I don't know. We'll see what Elise says. So I am gonna just fast forward, but I'm gonna show you guys whatever I use, so you'll see. Okay, let's jump right into the hair look. so i am getting there <laughs> um i totally forgot to set my brows so i am going to be using this gimme brow by benefit and i am just gonna place this on it so that my brow hairs stay where they're supposed to stay but apply this everywhere and i am going to go in with my foundation right now i am using the fancy beauty one i am in the shade where does it say what shade you are 360 this is not the hydrating one i know she came up with a new one 
so this is not it this is the old one the first one that she came out with i usually go in with like two pumps but i am gonna go in with one and see how far it takes me i usually apply my foundation with this it look well it looks like a complete oh my god <laughs> it's just a flat brush i think it's called the complete brush i don't know but this is bh cosmetics it's the number one and it works amazing for foundation so i am gonna apply this to my entire face and i am gonna fast forward that just because i think everybody knows how to apply foundation so we're gonna get right into that So I am gonna go in, my ears are hurting me, so I am gonna go in and conceal my under eyes. I usually go in with the same one that I curved out my brows with, every girl. And I am just gonna apply this to my eyes. I try not to put a lot, but you know sometimes you get carried away with these things. So. I am applying that and I am gonna blend it out. Where is my brush? Uh, I have allergies and it's so frustrating. So I am gonna be using this little brush and I am gonna blend this out. I am gonna blend this out using this brush right here and I'm gonna fast forward this and then we'll get back to it. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna set it using this little triangular sponge. It works perfect for breaking powder directly under the eyes. So I am just place this directly underneath. Let it bake properly. I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on the chin, the nose. I don't really highlight my forehead, my nose, and my chin, but I just use the powder instead of like the LA Girl concealer. So I am going to leave this to bake for a little bit, and I'm going to continue doing my, um, oh my god, I am going <laughs> to continue doing my eyes. I am going to go in with my eyeliner, where is it? Mm. Okay, I am going to go with my eyeliner. Oh, here it is. I think this is by Royale. Yeah, this is by Royale. I am gonna do a wing and I am gonna apply my lashes and we'll be right back. So I went ahead and I completed my eyes. I added the eyeliner. I did underneath my eyes. I did use the same shades that I used above and I applied my lashes. Um, I do use the Tobogu. I use the white one just because when it dries, it turns like invisible, so I like using that. It's not harsh to eyes. It's really good for sensitive eyes. And I did use these lashes by Sephora. Um, they're number 33. I love them. They're just amazing. They're really light on the eyes. And for me, I don't like heavy lashes or like lashes that are like huge, but this one is amazing. So. Okay, now we're gonna jump straight into the contouring and highlighting. So, I've been meaning to try cream contouring for some time now. So, I did grab myself the e.l.f. one. Let me see my image. Okay, there we go. I did grab this e.l.f. one cream contour. So, I usually do powder contour. So, this is the first time I am gonna try this. So. I am gonna like roll through it pretty quickly and I am gonna show you the brushes and stuff but I am gonna fast forward it a little so I will be using this and oh, here we go <laughs> and I will be using um also the powder contour just to set it go over it a little bit oh I forgot to mention the mascara that I use is the better than sex one I've had this I had it for a Christmas gift I think it was last year and 
I swear this is amazing happy at the full size one just because I've been using this anytime I'm going out or when I'm getting dressed forever I do use this it's like my go-to and I also usually use a MAC one but I can't seem to find it right now so yeah so this is my go-to and um yeah let's jump right into it so oh okay so I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm just gonna carve it out a little bit and then I'm gonna blend it out so I want to first go in with this shade right here excuse me I want to go in with this one and then I'm gonna see how it looks if I need to build up a little bit of my color I'm gonna go in with a darker shade so I have no idea how this is gonna apply but let's really wing it okay so you do need a different brush I must say that you do need a little bit more like oh, it's okay we'll use what we have I am trying to get this line perfect but it is my first time using this so I'm not gonna be too hard on myself so I did put it there I do want to add a little bit on my forehead And I am going to blend this out. I'm going to use this little brush right here. You know what? I think I need a big blender for this. Because this... Oh, I have a brush right here. This is the brush I'm supposed to have. Okay, so we're just going to blend this out. Okay, it's not as bad, but... Um, I do need to get into this a little bit more. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. It's the first time using this, so I'm honestly not going to worry too much about it. I do want to add a little bit more over here, though. But yeah, this, this is the perfect brush for this. And I can't remember where I got this from. Full contour. Oh, it's Urban Studio. I did get this. I, I did get this from a mall in Georgetown. So, I mean, if there's anyone who wanna try, try it. No problem. So, this is like my favorite contour palette. It's the Anastasia, and as you can see, I am dipping into the shades at the bottom. I don't usually use the highlight and the powder and stuff there. I don't use it, but I do use the contour shades. So I am going to take the same brush right here. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to go into the two. Okay, there we go. I'm using this shade and this one, and I am going to like carve out what I just did, basically. I mean, it's not just me, right? Everybody does the face, right? Like, come on. But it's okay. This is why I don't like contouring on camera, just because of the face I make, but it's fine. And I am going to blend this out. It doesn't look like it ah, like it usually does, to be honest. And I don't know why, but this contour seems like it's lower. But I usually don't do it in there, but I don't know what's going on today. But um, it's fine. And I am going to use that one as a triangular sponge. I'm going to use the same... Um, Sasha buttercup powder whatever yeah. and I am gonna carve the contour just to highlight it and I know what I did I, I messed up the side but you know what it's fine I'll get it right in the next video but <laughs> it is my first time trying pink contour and it's not my fan and I don't love it so you know what? It's okay. We're learning from our surgery. 
So I am, I am gonna go in with this blush by Mac, and it's it's like a perfect nude. It is. I don't really. I'm not a fan of like pink blushes to like bright blushes. So I do like this color. It's perfect. And yeah, I did put the glass, but you know what? It's fine. So we're gonna do the puffy face, and we're gonna come up. What I say? We're gonna apply the blush. There we go. It doesn't really show to be honest, but I don't know. I like knowing that I did put a little blush even though it doesn't really show. And this is me. I am going in with my Becca highlighter. My Becca highlighter. It's amazing. It's it's opal actually. And it is a mini size just because I didn't know if I was gonna like this highlighter, but um I bought it and I am in love with it. And I have two other minis to be honest. So my next purchase is totally gonna be full size. If you can see, I am really digging into that. So yeah, I did grab myself a Real Techniques um highlighter brush. It's Real Techniques, right? Yeah, it is. And just gonna apply this directly to the cheekbones. I do like my highlighter a little bit intense, not too intense, but just that it shows. I mean, look at that, it's amazing. Apply it to the other side. Oh my god, it's amazing. Holy moly's. Ay, ay, ay. So, lastly. Oh, I need to take this off. Why didn't anybody know? My top is everywhere. I don't know why. Obviously, we're gonna brush this off. I am using this. What is it? It's BH number two, the number two brush. Let me just dust this off. The contour is not the best today, but you know what? I'll get it right in the next video. That's fine. And set my entire face. I did grab myself a compact powder from Sephora, and it works amazing to be honest. I am gonna dust this everywhere actually. It's like my setting fog right now. I'm gonna set my face with this, laying it basically everywhere. And there we go. So, last thing let's do is apply the lips. And this has been my go to lipstick recently. It's um, Pat Von D. I think she is Lolita. Yeah, it is Lolita. And it's amazing. It's an amazing lipstick. It's not too dry, it's not too wet, it has perfect consistency, and the pigmentation is bomb. So, I am gonna go ahead. Line my lips and apply the lipstick. I am going to fast forward that, so yeah. So, this is the final look. And I must say, it turned out pretty good. <laughs> it's not what I expected, but um, I do need to practice more with my cream contour, but um, it's out, it's fine, it's okay. I like how my look turned out. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And please leave comments below on what you want to see in, on these videos or what kind of videos you want to see. Um, just comment whatever. I'll respond. I do respond to all my comments actually. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.